All right, today I'm going to show you how you're going to upload a picture to your time capsule project. So <clears throat> if you go to page three, it says what I look like. It says photo picture goes here. So you're gonna click in this box. Actually, just kidding, you're not gonna click in the box. You're just gonna go up here to this plus button. You're gonna click that plus button. Then you're gonna scroll down to image. You're gonna to touch image and then when you get the image options, it's gonna say from photos or from camera. From photos is what you're going to click if you have already taken a picture of yourself. If you have not already taken a picture of yourself, you're gonna choose from camera and it's gonna take you to the camera app where you can take a selfie. So let's pretend I have already taken a picture. I'm going to click from photos. More than likely it will ask you if you would like slides to access your photos. Yes, you have to click OK for this one. If you choose don't allow, it will not allow you to upload any picture. So you're going to click OK. And it's going to take you to your photos. Now these are all the pictures I've taken and most of them are of you guys. So I'm going to pretend that I am Daniel and today is my birthday. So I'm going to click this video or this picture and it will insert it into my slideshow. I can adjust the width. I can adjust the size of it by pulling the corners down. Another option that you have is clicking up here this crop button. So at the top, <clears throat> you see a pencil, you see lines, you see two lines that are connected, and then you see the fourth option, which is your picture. So you're gonna click the third option, and you can drag the ends to only keep certain parts of your picture and then you can just touch off the screen to fix that. So we cropped our image so that it fits this white box. We're gonna put it right there. Now let's say we want this to be behind this camera because we can't see all of the camera because our picture is in the way. So if we want this to be behind, what we have to do is click on the picture and you'll see this toolbar of black buttons that come up that say cut, copy, paste, delete, send to back. All of those, you're gonna click send to back. Now, when you click send to back, you'll notice that this text box that says photo was now in front of it, okay? I can go ahead and delete this or just swipe, swipe it off the screen, okay? Now, if I want to Move it to the front, I can click move to front, just like that, okay? Now, when you go over here to my age, let's say I am Daniel, I turned nine, I'm gonna type nine right there, my height. Let's say I am four foot two. I could write four foot two inches or four feet two inches, okay? My weight. Let's say we are 20 pounds, to be silly. 20, if we will remember the abbreviation for pounds, it's LBS. But you actually wanna make sure you do your real weight so that you can document your history. And then you're gonna put your shoe size down there, okay? Now to change the font, let's say you don't like the font of this nine and you wanna change it to something different, you're going to click that text box so that the blue outlines around it you're going to press and hold. And then at the top, you're gonna to see all these options where you can change your settings. You can change the color of it. You can change the background. And then if you press the A up top, you can choose your different fonts. Okay, the A at the top. And then you can also do all of that other stuff too, the size, the text color, and the highlight color. Now, if you decide that you don't like what you did there, you can click the A again, and then click clear formatting, and it will take it back to what it originally was. Just like that, okay? So that's how you insert a picture. Let's try to insert another picture just for review. So let's say, <clears throat> You want to insert a picture here, me learning at home. Remember, we gotta click this plus button. Then you're gonna click image. 
then you're gonna click from photos okay and then you can find a photo that you like click on it and there it is okay all right there you go let me know if you need any help